human population is growing. There are 32.6 million people in Malaysia. The average annual kilometer travels by Malaysians is around 28,000 kilometers. Malaysia vehicle population is 31.2 million units, consuming 37% of the Malaysia final energy consumption, which leads to 29% of Malaysia total emission. The increasing trend of energy consumption of 4.6% average annual growth rate had contributed to 3.5% average growth rate of GHG emission each year. As vehicle-caused air pollution, these are the diseases that may affect human beings. Even worse, high amount of released carbon dioxide will cause a problem like never before, climate change. Climate change will impact on sea level rises and flood, extreme heat and drought. Low Carbon Mobility Blueprint is designed as a solution to these problems. LCMB expert team are consist of Transportation Science Society Malaysia or TSSM. There are 11 official sessions, 90 stakeholders and 230 people of different expertise involved. To achieve LCMB, an efficient structure is established. LCMB consists of Technical Committee and National Committee. LCMB has identified three key objectives. The first objective is to reduce the supply and also the consumption of primary energy. The second objective is the reduction in fuel expenditure. And the third one is the greenhouse gas or GHG emission reduction. LCMB implementation framework is strengthening institutional framework, facilitating conducive economic instruments, government-led initiatives, consumer communication, skills and knowledge development and technology nurturing and commercialization. Four focus area of LCMB are, vehicle energy efficiency, electric mobility, mode shift and alternative fuel adoption. LCMB potential reduction of 26.9 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions, 8,770 KTOE of energy and RM 24.3 billion of fuel expenditure. The first focus area is to improve vehicle energy efficiency. Currently, the vehicle emission in Malaysia is 8.3 and through LCMB, we are aspired to meet the ASEAN FE target of 5.3 in 2025 and subsequently 4.1 in 2030. LCMB implication could reduce the future energy consumption and also the reduction in future GHG emissions significantly. LCMB goal is to reduce national GHG emission limit for new vehicles. One of the actions is to ensure GHG emission and FE labeling affects the purchase decisions. Next, mandatory exhaust emission rating for vehicle type approval. Eco driving program, green logistics program and vehicle fitness inspection are also the key in this focus area. The second focus area is GHG reduction via electric mobility adoption. Holistic electric vehicle ecosystems such as R&D for manufacturing, electric vehicle incentives, CKD or electric mobility local manufacturing and sufficient electric vehicle infrastructure need to be implemented in order to achieve GHG reduction. The third focus area is GHG reduction via alternative fuel. Alternative fuel available are biogas, biofuel, bio-CNG, and hydrogen. The fourth focus area is GHG reduction via mode shift which include public transport and freight transport. use development, improve first and last mile or FLM connectivity, shift to public transport, improving traffic flow, shifting freight mode from road to rail, 